What's going on guys? I want to talk to you about the More Mafia ECU flash I had received for my M109. I'm very pleased with it. Uh, before I get in it uh, to tell you about what it does for your bike, let me tell you why you would require one. If you leave your bike stock, you don't put any performance mods on intake, exhaust, etc. You really don't need one, but it will still benefit you to have your stock bike tuned as well. Because these bikes come with um, throttle body restrictions whenever you open your throttle all the way. You know, I believe it won't open 100% all the way in the ECU settings to give it max acceleration until one of the higher gears i believe it was fourth gear also uh, the speed limit on these bikes is restricted to 120 miles an hour and i i, I like to party so i wanted the full 150 you know what i mean <laughs> and also he can raise the rev limit just a little bit uh, mine was raised to 7700 rpm and uh, I installed force winder intakes on my bike. And uh, the gloss black looks pretty good. The rest of the paint. And the Freedom Combat, Freedom Performance Combat 2 in the 1 exhaust. So, of course, my air fuel mixture was way lean, especially under normal riding. And uh, if you do an exhaust, and leave the stock intakes you still need to flash it if you leave the stock exhaust and do aftermarket intakes you still need to flash it these bikes run super lean from the factory i'm talking eight to one, 18 to 1 afr or higher under normal riding and the fattest part of the afr curve under full acceleration only drops down to the 15s at some point low 15s to 1 so uh, it really wakes these bikes up, you know, removes the restrictions as well. And uh, he also adjusted my electric fans to come on at 196 degrees. And, uh, you know, he tuned it on 93 octane. He also adjusted the ignition timing for more power, the top end. And uh, the bike runs pretty well. I know a lot of these bikes just with these few bolt-ons and the tune and a good rider are capable of mid 11s and a quarter mile uh, possibly better smaller riders um, but uh, the bike also cruises much nicer it's a lot more smoother uh, just normal driving you know shifting through the gears and uh, downshifting I don't have any more decel popping no more backfire. Of course, I like to backfire. You know, I, I like to party. You know, I like to make a little noise, but uh, it does cruise really nice now. Uh, it gets a little bit better fuel mileage now as well. You know, you make a little bit more power, especially down low. The bike doesn't have to work as hard, you know, when you're cruising around, so you save fuel that way. You're not in the throttle as much, but if you're, if you're like me, you, you know, you're wide open stoplight to stoplight all the time. You know, burning rubber, rolling burnouts, whatnot. And uh, so your fuel mileage really isn't that great. But yeah, anyways, if you like to party, then your fuel mileage is going to suck. But of course, it, it would have sucked beforehand anyways. But uh, I'm very pleased with it. Uh, the Flash is $215 plus, I want to say it was $12 shipping. And I opted for... Uh, an extra $15 for $500 more insurance on the ECM when they shipped it back. Because Lord knows I don't want to pay full price for a factory ECU and then have it flash again if it was lost in the mail. But uh, anyways, let me crank it up for you. And I'll show you a little throttle response on it.
overall, I'm very pleased with the ECU Flash. You know, this is the second bike he, Chris Moore, has done for me. He has also, I had a 2018 Yamaha MT-10. And after, you know, Chris was done with it, it would throttle wheelies off of, uh, out of fourth gear. It was insane. So I, uh, I decided to go ahead and try the M109 video. He's got the exact same color in the M109 that he dyno tunes. So um, he's uh, tuned quite a few of them as well. So and, uh, I'm overall pleased. The bike runs smoother, makes more power. It's a little more fuel efficient. And uh, unless you like to party. But um, yeah, it runs cooler as well. The E-fans come on earlier. So I have no restrictions, no speed limit restrictions. Um, higher rev limit now for a little more partying so um, again yeah I know there's other people out there that have, you know ECU flash these M109s but you know Chris did a great job I'm overall pleased with it and uh, the drivability is perfect you know I, I can't really describe it much better than that so anyways hope this helped y'all and uh if there's anything else y'all want to know about the bike, shoot me a comment. I'll do a video on it. So, y'all uh, keep the rubber side down and be safe out there.